This is just one piece of a multi-part course. If you're interested in more, check out tunefiles.com. In this video, we're going to begin the process of drawing out our cute fish. First, let's select a pencil brush from the library. You can select any type of brush you wish, really. Even a soft airbrush if you wanted to. But, as you can see here as we play around with these settings, it's probably best to go with sketching or a pencil brush. In our case, we'll be using Scott's pencil, which is a downloadable brush. And for your colors when sketching, you're going to want something light gray. Now you can choose this from the color panel as we are right here. And as you can see, as we lightly apply, it looks like this. When you apply pressure, it looks like that. But if we use black, you're going to have maybe some issues because we want this to be traceable, and that might be too dark. If you lower the opacity, that will work. So either having gray or lowering the opacity of your black brush is recommended for this. For the sketch of the fish, we will begin with the head. You'll recall that everything is made up of shapes. And for our head, we can start with an oval and build up from there. In addition to this, we'll also want to start thinking about how we want to set this character up. Is it going to be facing the screen? Are we going to have a side view? So let's get that oval in first, and then we can look at that next step. Placing two fingers on the canvas, we can spin to get a better angle so it's easier on our wrists and our body in general, and just so it's easier to get the angle we want. And from here, we're going to draw out the back fin just by tapering off two lines. Again, very basic shapes. With the tail established, we can come in and draw a triangle for the back part where we have that fin. So there we are, three basic shapes, and we already have something resembling a fish. Let's now focus on the face. Let's start with the eye, and again, you want a big eye, but you don't want it too big. Big is cute, but really big, such as something like this, could be almost alien or creepy. And that's not the effect we want. And so let's come in here and, again, making it lower, draw out a sizable eye, something that we can work with to start. And again, we might modify the shape of this as we continue, but it should work for now. Having a big head and eye is one thing, but there are other things we can do to simply enhance this and make it look more cute. So right now, if we were just settled on this and we're like, okay, this is good, you could come in and add a mouth, a pupil, and keep building up and it could look pretty cute. However, if you recall from our lessons, big foreheads also play a part. And even though it's a fish, it might seem a little bit odd, we can come in here and try to just enhance or exaggerate the forehead within our sketch to help bring out more cuteness. We can just finish the line work up here just to make sure everything connects. And then using the eraser, we can come in and just clean up those lines to get rid of that original oval to help emphasize the forehead. And we can also now come in and just place a pupil as a guide. We might change it later. From here, let's keep building up our fins. Once again, just using triangles one on the top, and then on the bottom, this one will be a little bit more complex, not quite a triangle, but again, very basic. And now we want to come in and add a mouth. You could just do something simple, simple as in just a quick little smile, perhaps just made up of one or two lines like that. But we can enhance this more and even make it cute by giving him some lips. So coming in here, we can just bring those out and taper them towards the corner of the mouth. And there you are. Let's focus now on the eye. It's really simple. We have the basic shape. We have a pupil we could use, but let's just zoom in here. And with the pencil, we can come in here and just define the shape a little bit more. And then using lines, create some eyelids. So we have one on the top, one on the bottom, maybe some line work around the eyes. And again, just making sure the shape is 
looking pretty good. Again, it looks in line with what we're going for with the whole design. And again, with the eyebrow, if it's up higher, it will be cuter. And we can even add some indentations here of where the eyebrow is connected to the eye. For the last portion of this video, we can take the eraser tool, come in and just clean up some of this line work, just to make it a little bit easier to see what we're doing. And in addition to cleaning up certain areas of the fish, we can also come in, if we choose, and add in some design work as well. So we could add in just a separation here that we could use later just to kind of give us a guide. But also we could add some lines to the top fin as well as the bottom. And there's really no rhyme or reason for this. We're just kind of sketching in details right now that may or may not make it into the final design. Just kind of getting some ideas here. And you could even go further and add gills. In this case, we're not going to, but we might add some scales. And again, really simple shapes. If you look at what we're doing here, we're just essentially drawing sideways U's. So think about it that way. When doing the scales, keep it simple, keep it clean. Again, you don't want it too drastic. Then you'll start to lose the cuteness because everyone will be focused on the scales. So again, it's a balancing act and you can also continue to clean up your sketch if you wish. But this is looking pretty good for our purposes. I think we can pause here and up next, continue building up the fish. To view the rest of this course or gain access to the source files, visit toonfiles.com.